to Mr. Donut's, Donut's Corner. Corner. <laughs> Hello kids, it's me, Mr. Melvin, and welcome back to Mr. Melvin's Corner. Are you having a great day today? You are? That's great! Guess what? I am too. Speaking of today, do you know what today is? What is it? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Today is Thursday. Hmm. If today is Thursday, what was yesterday? What was it? Correct. Yesterday was Wednesday. Hmm. If today is Thursday, yesterday was Wednesday, what's tomorrow? Yeah! Tomorrow is Friday. And I'm so excited for today's adventure. Are you? You are? Great! Well, here we go. What's the weather like in your neighborhood? It is? Really? Well, that's cool. In my neighborhood, it's sunny. Yeah, and it's getting really, really warm. Hmm. You know what? You guys can go outside and play when it's really, really warm outside. But hey, make sure you wear some sunscreen to protect your skin. Mm-hmm. You know what? Since it's getting pretty hot outside, what are some things you can eat when it's warm? Yeah! Awesome! Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can eat some ice cream, popsicles, and snow cones. Yeah, you can! Awesome! Ha! You know what time it is. Yep, it's time for our letters. Hmm. What letter did we work on yesterday? What was it? Yeah! Yesterday, we worked on the letter L. Uh-huh. Do you remember the sound that the letter L makes? Correct. The sound that the letter L makes is O. Yeah. And remember, Larry Lion, O, O, O. Mm hmm. Now, we're going to be working on his friend. What comes after the letter L? What is it? if we can figure this one out. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. Yes, the letter M comes after the letter L. Do you know the sound the letter M makes? Hmm. What is it? Yes! The letter M makes the sound hmm. Yeah. Say it with me. Hmm. Mm-hmm. And a great way to memorize this one is me, me, mouse. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Say it with me. Me, me, mouse. Mm, mm, mm. Great job! Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Great job! All right, my mathematicians. Are you ready for today's math activity? You are? Hmm. Today, we are going to be counting up to 50. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
It might be a little challenging, but I think my mathematicians, you got it. Are you ready? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty, forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, forty five, forty six, forty seven, forty eight, forty nine, fifty. Woo! Oh, wow, wee! That was a lot of counting. Wow, great job. Woo! Good job, kids. I am tired. Woo! Ah, but hey, we're only halfway. We're gonna be counting all the way up to 100. Mm-hmm. Not today, though. Mm, not today. Nope, not today. <laughs> We're going to keep counting up to 50, okay? And give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Great job, my mathematicians. Hmm. A plus. Are you ready for today's activity? You are? Great, because today going to be doing an art activity. Mm -hmm. We are going to be drawing a picture of Wrecked Ralph. Yeah! Are you excited? You are? Awesome! So get your pencils, your paper, your coloring pencils, and your markers. You ready? Well, here we go! So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to draw a nice, cool little oval shape for his nose. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw some more tiny ovals for his eyes. One right there, and one right there. And now we're gonna color in the eyes just a little bit. Mm-hmm, right there, and right there. Cool little eyes, huh? Mm-hmm. Next, we're going to draw his mouth. We're gonna give him some nice, cool little cheeks. One right here, and the other one right there. Next, we're gonna give him a nice, cool little chubby face. I'm gonna start right there and go around, all the way around to there. Awesome. Now, we're gonna work on his head. Nice little line right there, and two straight lines right there. Mm -hmm. Next, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna give him a nice cool looking forehead. Line right there to dip it in, and another line right there. Hmm, what's missing? Oh yeah, we're gonna give him some cool eyebrows. Some cool thick eyebrows right there and right there and now we're gonna work on this cool hair a line right there and a line right there we will give him cool little zigzags a little crazy line right there mm -hmm. zigzag line right there too awesome now 
we're gonna give them some cool big ears right there and right here awesome sauce now we're gonna work on his hair give him some nice little zigzags going all the way around and you can take your time with this too zigzag zigzag and zigzaggy hair's looking wild and crazy Ralph <laughs> Next, we're gonna work on the body. Let's give Ralph a nice, cool U shape. Mm -hmm. All the way up to the other side of his head. Next, we're gonna work on his overalls. Give him one line right there and another line right there. Let's close the line. Next, we're gonna work on the other part of his overalls. Give a nice slanted line there and a nice other slanted line right there. Hmm, looking real nice. And now, since he only has one strap, we're gonna give a cool little flap right there. Great. What's missing on Ralph? Hmm, what is missing? Cool little button right there. And next, we're gonna work on Ralph's legs. So let's give him a nice slanted line there and another slanted line right there. Great. Now let's give a cool little V shape in the middle. We're gonna go up and down. Now let's go ahead and close Ralph's feet. Mm -hmm. Close it from this side to that side, and then this side to that side. Great job. Now Let's give Rick and Ralph some cool little pants. Little ripped up pants right there. And ripped up pants right here. Awesome. And now we're going to work on Ralph's toes. One line here. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And now we're going to give them three lines. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Hmm. Now, what's missing on Ralph? Oh yeah, the arms. So we're gonna go down just slightly and then give a nice, cool little arch. We're like halfway C. And then we're gonna give him a nice little line for his hand. And then we're gonna go down and then we're gonna go back to his torso and his head and then draw a big arch in right there. And let's close his hand. Great. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a nice little shirt for him on his arms. Mm -hmm. And next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give Ralph a nice cool little T for his hand. And guess what? We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Let's go down a little bit and give him a nice C right there. And then a cool little short line. And then we're going to drag the hand down. And now we're going to complete the other side and give a nice cool little C right there. And now we're going to complete it with a line straight there. And now we're gonna give a nice cool little shirt right there, ripped up shirt. And now a halfway T right there. Awesome. Hmm. And now we're gonna give him a cool little V shape for his shirt right there. And for this portion, we're just going to speed it up just a bit. And we're using our browns for the hair. This hair is looking pretty awesome, isn't it? I bet it is. Really, really cool. Nice little browns for his hair right there. And now we're gonna do the overalls too. We're gonna do the overalls brown. 
Now, if you don't have brown, you can do Wreck-It Ralph any color you want. Bring it in the pans. Great. This is looking awesome. And now we're going to color his shirt orange. Wreck-It Ralph is coming to life, isn't he, kids? I know. It's looking great. And now we're going to shade in his his skin I'm using my brown uh, just slightly not fully but just slightly next we're coloring the arms light brown the feet light brown and now we're going to do the orange just slightly give it a cool little shade he's looking pretty awesome hey kids quick question who's your favorite character in Wreck-It Ralph Really? Penelope? And Felix? As well as Wreck-It Ralph? That's awesome! Mine is Wreck-It Ralph. I love Wreck-It Ralph. And now, we're shading in just a little bit with the white, kind of blend everything in. And now we're going to give him a nice cool little green shirt. Nice little pink nose, pink and rosy cheeks. And now we're going to go back with our white and kind of powder it just a little bit. Give a nice little softness to the pink. And now, since we're done, we are going to do our detail work. And detail work is just to make the picture pop just a little bit. We're doing the toes hands and the toes again and then we're gonna do the arms I'm so excited about the picture aren't you yeah it's looking really cool and parents you can draw this with your kids anytime and if you need some time you can always go back to the video and that is our record Ralph wasn't that such an awesome drawing of Wreck-It Ralph? Wreck-It Ralph? Uh, that was great. And you know what, parents? You can draw this too. It's really easy. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And you can always go back and look at the picture and do it as many times as you want, okay? So these drawings that I draw are all inspired from Arts for Kids Hub. Yeah, you can go to their YouTube channel if you want. And I'll leave the link in the description below. Mm -hmm. It's called Arts for Kids Hub. Great place to look at a whole bunch of drawings and learn how to draw from scratch. Good job, my artsy people. Give yourselves a round of applause. Good job! We are having such a great day today. And I hope that you having a great day as well because we're having so much fun every day. We like to a a a a a a a a a You know what that means? Yeah, it is story time. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I wonder what story Mr. M has in store for us today. Let's go take a look. Hello children, it's me, Mr. M, and welcome back to Mr. M's Reading Club. And you know what time it is. Correct, it is story time. And today, we're gonna to be going on a very playful adventure with On the Ball, written by Brian Pinkett. Are you ready? You ready? Well, here we go. Owen loved playing ball. But playing ball didn't always love ball. And then, one fateful day, Owen took his eye off the ball. When he escaped, 
it was up to Owen to chase it down and get it back. It floated across a racing stream. Whoosh! Whoosh! Then, Owen tracked it down. story about keeping your eye on the ball and sometimes the ball might not agree with you sometimes making that bigger step makes all the difference well that's it today for Mr. M's reading card I'm Mr. M and remember we makes the heart grow fast Imaginations grow. Till next time. Cheerio. Wasn't that such a great story? Yeah. I mean, this kid was really working really, really hard. I think that's the moral of the story. The moral of that story was really working hard and practicing and going through a lot of hoops and jumps and going through the jungles if you had to. Yeah. So whatever it is, kids, that you're working on, don't give up and work really, really hard at it. And keep your eyes on the ball, okay? My shape finders, this shape is starting to really get on my nerves because I can't find it and it has so many sides. You thought that the octagon was hard to find? Huh. This one has an odd number of sides. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This shape has seven sides. Right. Have you ever seen a shape that had seven sides to it? You haven't? Wait, you have? And it's right here? Great. Thank you so much because... It's not here. You said it was right there, right? But where is it? Oh, it's right here. Thank you very much. Okay, it's it's not there either. It's not there. Oh, maybe if I do this. Ha! Where is it now? It's right here? Aha! Gotcha! Okay, yeah, see it right here? Mm-hmm, this shape has seven sides. Now, what's the name of this shape? What is it? It's a heptagon? Hmm, never heard of that shape before. A heptagon. Okay, yeah. So a heptagon has seven sides. Yeah. Say that five times fast. Heptagon, 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 heptagon. Yeah. Crazy. But 
great job, my shake finders. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yay! Good job. <laughs> oh, hey kids. Welcome to Mel's Mel Room. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Welcome to Mel's Mel Room. And now, we're just gonna be waiting for our mail because you've got mail. Oh hey! I didn't have to wait that long. Hmm. We have mail. Let's see who it's from. This from some Jamie. Hey Jamie, how are you doing? Awesome! Let's see what it says. Hey Mr. Melvin, I hope you're having a great day. I am having a great day. Are you? That's great! So I decided to join the junior football team. But I didn't make the team, and I just want to quit and give up. What should I do? Well, Jamie, this may sound kind of cliche, but at first, if you don't succeed, try, try, and try again. Never give up on your dreams and your goals. If you want to be a football player, go ahead, be a football player. But remember though, make sure you work hard and try your hardest, okay? I believe in you, Jamie. And guess what? Your friends and your family does the same. Go get them. And that's it today for Mr. Melvin's Corner. I hope that you guys had a great day today. You did? I did too. What was one thing that you enjoyed today? What was it? That is great. You know what I enjoyed today? I enjoyed the drawing. Yeah. Wreck it, Ralph. And another great message that I learned about today was hard work. Mm -hmm. Working hard at something and never giving up on it. So remember, kids, work hard at any and everything you do. I believe in you. Well, you know what time it is. Mm hmm It's time for our goodbye song. Now it's time to say goodbye to all of my friends. And I hope that you had a great time because the fun never ends. So let's shoot for the stars and fly high in the sky. And on that note, it's time to say Goodbye. Goodbye, kids. I hope that the rest of your day be the best of your day. And remember, y'all be good. Go out and be great. And God bless.